morning, good evening, good afternoon. Uh, welcome to my channel. Uh, what we are going to do one last time is we are going to update the, uh, the label value. Yes, we're going to update the label value so that we are able to change the, the text <clears throat> that, the, that the user sees. So let us do that real quick. Let's copy and paste this one. Call it label text. String, and we're going to say label property. Copy this also. Label property. Um, let's copy this. Changing label property. This and then just okay, yeah, this will work. So it's always going to be string empty, and over here we're going to say label property chain, and we just generated pretty simple, okay. So all we're doing here is saying declaring a, a control variable, and we are initializing it as radio button. If it is not null, we are saying control that label that text is equal to string new value that's it that's it and then we're done now we can go here and say label text here we go and let's just say option one okay and let's set the 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 off image we're gonna say image off Okay, image off. Uh, I believe our picture was called unchecked. Um, and then image on, simply checked. Okay, and then is selected. Let's leave, let's set it to off, to false. Okay, so. We just consumed one. Um, let us consume another instance of our radio button. So this time we're going to say option two. That's all we're changing. Option one and option two. Let's hit play. Okay. Just to give you an overview of what's going to of what it should look like. This is the final. Let's click at the, the, the final one, what it's supposed to look like, um, okay, see that this is how, when we're complete done with this, this is how it's going to function. Now let's look at the one that we're currently, the demo that we're currently working on, okay, we click it, look again, the first one, option one, and then second one, option two. Now, if you remember, I told you that when you click on it, it is not supposed to turn off. The only way it turns off is if you select another button. But um, let us now go and create the mechanism for that. Okay? My name is Matthew. Thank you for watching. Um, if you like what you see, share, like, subscribe. And uh, check often because I will be putting videos very often. 
I appreciate the time that you guys have given me to, uh, you guys have taken to, to watch this video. I hope it's been um, educational for you. It's definitely been a, a fun experience for me. So um, on the next video, we are going to continue um, wiring the uh, our radio button in XAML. See you on the next video.